Mr. Reynolds. Here. Mr. Chambers. Here. Dr. Lee. Here. Mr. Hoster. Here. Mr. Mullins. Here. Okay, we have a quorum present. So I'm going to ask that everyone will stand with me for the prayer and the pledge. to ask that we all just remember the serenity prayer. So tonight, God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. As always, keep us near your bosom. Is Jesus is my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, you all have received a copy of the October, 19th, October 9th, 2018 Council Minutes. Are there any corrections or discussions? Do I hear a motion to adopt the minutes? So moved. Good Second. <clears throat> I'll ask the clerk to call the roll. Ms. Walden? Aye. Ms. Reynolds? Aye. Mr. Chambers? Aye. Dr. Lee? Aye. Ms. Schenholster? Aye. Mr. Mullins? Aye. All right, the minutes are adopted as official. Tonight we have the third and final public hearings to consider Ordinance 1810-008 which proposes an increase of one mil on the tax levied on real and personal property assessed within the corporate limits of the city of Milledgeville from 9.12 to 10.12. One mil represents $40 on every $100,000 of assessed value of property. The procedure for conducting the hearing tonight will be as follows. The chair will first determine that the public hearing has been properly advertised. The chair will also ask the clerk to read the proposed ordinance by caption. The chair will then recognize anyone who wishes to speak regarding the um, proposed millage rate. Anyone who wishes to speak regarding a millage rate increase is encouraged to do so. As you are recognized, I will ask that you come to the podium to make your remarks and that you give your name and address for the record. Has the public hearing been properly advertised? Yes, ma'am, it has been. I will ask the clerk to read the ordinance by caption. In ordinance to levy and assess taxes for the support of the mayor and alderman of the city of Milledgeville for the tax year 2018 and to provide for the collection of same. Is there anyone uh, present who would like to speak on the proposed ordinance? This concludes the public hearing and the second reading of the ordinance. Oh, 1810-008. You have heard the ordinance. Is there a motion to adopt? So moved. Move. <coughs> Second. Clerk, call the roll, please. Ms. Walden? Aye. Mr. Reynolds? Aye. Ms. Chambers? Aye. Dr. Lee? Aye. Ms. Schenholster? Aye. Mr. Mullins? Aye. The ordinance is approved. Uh, I will now move to new business and I ask the clerk to read ordinance 01810-10 by caption. Let's conduct the first reading of an ordinance amending the city of Millersville code of ordinances, ordinance amends chapter 58, historic preservation, section 58-33, creation position within city government membership. Okay, this is the first reading of this ordinance. And then we will come back uh, before us at the next meeting. The next item is resolution 1810-50 to amend the Allied Arts Bylaws to create staggered terms. I will ask the clerk to read resolution R1810-50 by caption. A resolution authorized an amendment to the bylaws of the Millersville Baldwin County Allied Arts Incorporated, a secondary agency of the city of Millersville, to create staggered terms for the members of the board of directors of the corporation. You have heard the resolution. Is there a motion to adopt? So moved. Second. Clerk, call the roll. Ms. Walden. Aye. Mr. Reynolds? Aye. 
Mr. Chambers? Aye. Dr. Lee? Aye. Ms. Schenhofer? Aye. Mr. Mullins? Aye. The resolution is approved. We have two alcohol beverage license applications to consider tonight. I will ask the clerk to present them at this time. The first is for the Nanjay Patel on behalf of Lux, uh, Laxmi Ganesh Corporation, uh, <coughs> operation for um, Marathon located at 210 Robertson Mill Road, and this is for beer package to go. Okay, I have a motion and a second. Uh, motion we approve. A second. Yes, motion and second. Uh, <coughs> ask the clerk to call the roll, please. Ms. Walden? Aye. Mr. Reynolds? Aye. Mr. Chambers? Aye. Dr. Lee? Aye. Ms. Schenholster? Aye. Mr. Mullins? Aye. And, and the second is for Gilberto Oca Rivera on behalf of Amigos at Baldwin LLC doing business as El Amigo Mexican Restaurant located at 2465 North Columbia Street and this is for beer and wine and liquor and Sunday sales. Okay, can I get a motion and a second to approve the application? So moved. Second. And properly motion and second. I ask the clerk to call the roll. Ms. Walden? Aye. Mr. Reynolds? Aye. Mr. Chambers? Aye. Dr. Lee? Aye. Ms. Schenholster? Aye. Mr. Mullins? Aye. I, I would make, like to make a note to you, this is for a 2019 application, so this is new for the first of the year. They're, they're going out the first year and changing hands and ownership. So. Okay, so noted. Next, we have two renewals to consider. I'll ask the clerk to present them for consideration. And if there's no objection to vote on them in a mass, um, I'll ask the clerk to present the renewals. Uh, Kirishima Incorporated, 140 West Hancock Street for beer and wine consumption on premise. And the second is for Lorena LLC doing business <laughs> as Little Tokyo Steak and Sushi for beer and wine and Sunday sales. Consumption on premises. You have heard the renewals. Is there a motion to adopt the renewals in mass? So moved. Second. All right, the property uh, motion is second. Okay, tonight I need to make a I need to call the roll. Okay, Ms. Walden. Aye. Mr. Reynolds? Aye. Ms. Chambers? Aye. Dr. Lee? Aye. Ms. Schenholster? Aye. Mr. Mullins? Aye. Okay. Uh, I would like to announce that effective October the 11th, I appointed Mr. Dexter Ricks to the Milledgeville Housing Authority to fill the unexpired term vacated by Robert Benjamin and appointed Mr. Randy Clark to the Milledgeville Housing Authority as a resident board commissioner member to fill the term uh, vacated by, by, by Ms. Jacqueline Larkin. The chair of the Housing Authority asked me to make two appointments to fill vacant terms because they needed to be able to call a quorum in order to process, uh, proceed with time-sensitive contract ma contractual matters. Um, so those appointments have been made uh, to fill the expired term. Uh, also, I need to make a couple of appointments tonight as well to reappoint Ms. Sherry Malone to the Historic Preservation um, for uh, the next term. And also, I need to appoint tonight to the Main Street Downtown Development, Mr. Frank Ball, uh, who will be <coughs> Filling out the new term. Is that correct? All right. Okay. You need a motion. Are, are those both the mayor's appointments, or will you need confirmation of council? No, we need those confirmation. Those require confirmation yep. of council. The last two. 
work on our oh, Mr. Malone and you can do them together or you can do them separately whatever council's choice do we need to make a okay. motion can to I do them together yes okay yes. motion that we approve them together second all right Kirk call the roll please Ms. Walden aye Mr. Reynolds aye Mr. Chambers aye Dr. Lee aye <coughs> Jen Holster aye Mr. Mullins aye Okay, I make a motion that the appointments be approved. Second. Second. Clerk, call the roll, please. Ms. Walden. Aye. Mr. Reynolds. Aye. Ms. Chambers. Aye. Dr. Lee. Aye. Ms. Shinholster. Aye. Mr. Mullins. Aye. <coughs> that concludes the items on the agenda. Is there any further business that needs to be brought before this body? I don't know, entertain a, a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Meeting adjourn. Good to close.